Section seventeen of The Man from Snowy River and Other Verses by Banjo Patterson. Read for LibriVox.org by Magdalena Cook. On Kylie's Run. The roving breezes come and go on Kylie's Run. The sleepy river murmurs low, and far away one dimly sees beyond the stretch of forest trees, beyond the foothills dusk and dun. The rangers sleeping in the sun on Kylie's Run. Tis many years since first I came to Kylie's Run, more years than I would care to name, since I, a stripling, used to ride for miles and miles at Kylie's side. The while in stirring tones he told the stories of the days of old on Kylie's Run. I see the old bush homestead now on Kylie's Run, just nestled down beneath the brow of one small ridge above the sweep over river flat where willows weep and jasmine flowers and roses bloom the air was laden with perfume on kylie's run we lived the good old station life on kylie's run with little thought of care or strife old kylie seldom used to roam he liked to make the run his home the swagman never turned away with empty hand at close of day from kylie's run we kept a racehorse now and then on kylie's run and neighbouring stations brought their men to meetings where the sport was free and dainty ladies came to see the champions ride with laugh and song. The old house rang the whole night long on Kylie's Run. The station hands were friends I wot on Kylie's Run, a reckless, merry-hearted lot, all splendid riders, and they knew the boss was kindness through and through. Old Kylie always stood their friend, and so they served him to the end on Kylie's Run. What droughts and losses came apace to Kylie's Run, till ruin stared him in the face he toiled and toiled while lived the light he dreamed of overdrafts at night at length because he could not pay his bankers took the stock away from kylie's run old kylie stood and saw them go from kylie's run the well-bred cattle marching slow his stockman mates for many a day they wrung his hand and went away too old to make another start old kylie died of broken heart on kylie's run the owner lives in England now of Kylie's Run. He knows a racehorse from a cow, but that is all he knows of stock. His chiefest care is how to dock expenses, and he sends from town to cut the shearer's wages down on Kylie's Run. There are no neighbours anywhere near Kylie's Run. The hospitable homes are bare. The garden's gone for no pretence. Must hinder cutting down expense. The homestead that we held so dear contains a half-paid overseer on Kylie's Run. All life and sport and hope have died on Kylie's Run, no longer there the stockmen ride, for sour-faced boundary riders creep on mongrel horses after sheep. Through ranges where at racing speed old Kylie used to wheel the lead, on Kylie's Run. There runs a lane for thirty miles through Kylie's Run, on either side the herbage smiles, but wretched travelling sheep must pass without a drink or blade of grass. Through that long lane of death and shame, the weary drovers curse the name of Kylie's Run. The name itself is changed of late of Kylie's Run. They call it Shando's Park Estate. The lonely swagman through the dark must hump his swag past Shando's Park. The name is English, don't you see? The old name sweeter sounds to me of Kylie's Run. I cannot guess what fate will bring to Kylie's Run, for chances come and changes ring. I scarcely think t'will always be locked up to suit an absentee. And if he lets it out in farms, his tenants soon will carry arms on Kylie's run. End of section seventeen. This recording is in the public domain.